I need to be able to like switch on and off as to like when I'm working and when I'm not. And so I try really hard even though I fail at it a lot. Welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a few tips and my routine for how I work from home. Um, it's been very challenging now working from home with a baby. So I've been working from home for probably the last three years, three or four years. And um, it's been super easy, you know, because it's just been me. I've been able to just do whatever I need to do. I'm not worried about, you know, having another person to be responsible for. But now with Baby Hillman, it has been a little bit overwhelming to try to kind of navigate this new space of working from home with a baby. So um, I just wanted to kind of share what I've been doing and maybe like a few tips that might be able to help you if you're working from home with a baby. So the first thing I do every day is I get dressed. I did not realize this the first couple of months that he was born oh my goodness I would just like wake up and roll over in my sweatpants I wouldn't really worry about getting dressed and things like that and I noticed that my energy level was really really down so one thing like before I had King I was able to you know wear whatever I wanted to wear like I would wear sweatpants you know tie my hair up it wasn't a big deal about what I was wearing but now that I have King I realized that I am very um for lack of a better word self-conscious like I'm just really self conscious about how I look and I notice that when I wear sweatpants when I wear like baggy t-shirts and things like that I feel like my energy level is just really down and so something that's really helped me is getting dressed every single day and I don't get super dressed up like this is like a, a little sports top but like I put on things that make me feel cute right I put on like a little bit of lipstick like and for a while I had stopped wearing lipstick but now that I have king I've started back wearing lipstick like I've just started to do things that make me feel more confident and just a little bit better about myself and honestly getting dressed is just a great way to start off my day because it gets me like in the habit of a routine of taking care of myself so the first thing I do every day is I get dressed now the downside of getting dressed is that <laughs> baby king is always throwing up on me so it's always like this double-edged sword because it's like on one hand I want to look cute but on the other hand I know within like an hour or two he's gonna spit up on me but I wear stuff like this like I wear like really comfy clothes but still cute so it's like okay if he spits up on it you know at least I got dressed for today so that's kind of the situation there but regardless no matter what I start every day with myself getting dressed Side note, if you guys hear music in the background, it's because Baby King is obsessed with Michael Jackson right now. So in order to get him to calm down, we play Michael Jackson. So something else that's really important for me is to have a designated workspace. So I currently have an office. It's really like a sunroom that we converted into an office for me. And then also I do a lot of work sitting on my sofa. It's just really helpful to have like a designated location that I know is for work. And then outside of that, I can like enjoy the rest of my house I hope that makes sense but like I spend so much time like I spend all my time inside the house and so it's just really nice to have um you guys this is bothering me is it bothering you anyway um so <laughs> so it's just nice to have like designated spaces in my house that I know like okay here's my workspace here's my eating space here's my this space so um I need to be able to like switch on and off as to like when I'm working and when I'm not. And so I try really hard, even though I fail at it a lot, I try really hard not to work in the bed, but I just can't help it, especially because like at night we put the baby down and it's just so easy to like, you know, crank out a few emails or, you know, create new pieces of content or edit videos. It's so easy to do that in the bed, but I mean, I am starting to get back in the habit of actually working here in my office at my desk and things like that but yeah so another thing that has worked really well for me is having a running to-do list um what I do is I literally use the notes app in my phone and whenever I think of something I write it down because before King I had like a really good memory but now I have like serious mom brain like I will forget as soon as you tell me something so if I don't write something down it's not gonna happen and I'm not gonna remember so one thing that I've been doing is keeping a running to-do list so that I know exactly what needs to be done so I keep this running to-do list and um you know it's not to overwhelm me but it's just to keep like it's just to remind me that okay I do have these things I need to get done and of course like it's I never make my to-do list something that's like has to be done today it's always a, a thing of like okay these are just items and things that I have or that I need to do um, and then it'll get done when it gets done because we're moms like we don't have time so it's gonna happen in our own time so going off of my to-do list though every single day 
I write down the one thing. Now, I read this book called The One Thing. Actually, I listened to it on YouTube. They have the audio recording on YouTube. But I read this book, The One Thing, and basically the book is telling you what is the one thing that you can do, you know, every single day that will make, you know, everything else easier or insignificant, right? And so I look at my to-do list every day and I say, okay, what is the one thing that I need to accomplish today? Like that's gonna make this to-do list seem less, you know, daunting or this to-do list seem, you know, a little less long. Like what is one thing that I can do? And so when I think about it like that, it makes me less stressed, right? Because my to-do list used to be, you know, 10 items and I would just do everything on the list, right? But now I don't have the time to do that. And so the mistake that I made, like, the first couple of months he was born is that I was sitting here and I was writing like to-do lists that you know had 10 different things on it and then I would be so discouraged at the end of the day you know trying to figure out like man I didn't get anything done on my list and I realized that it was because I was setting unrealistic expectations right like as a mom we probably cannot well not we I cannot do you know 10 things each day like it just might not happen for my business right but if I can do one thing every day that's a lot more encouraging right like when I get that thing done I'm like oh okay great like today was a productive day you know and so like I know as as like entrepreneurs like we talk so much about productivity but like the truth of the matter is is that when you're a mom productivity looks a little bit different right because productivity like you've had a good day like I I feel like I've had a good day when you know King has been smiling and he's been having like just a, like a really amazing day and we like bonded and spent time together like that's still a good day whether I got work done or not. Now, of course, there are times that like I have to work, but you know, I try not to put that much pressure on myself and by doing the whole one thing where I just really focus on one task for the day, that makes things a lot easier, right? Because like if my thing for the day is to record videos, then I can record videos at any time during the day. Like I can just find different pockets of time. A lot of my vlogs and stuff, I'm, I'm recording that throughout the day. So it's like less stressful because I'm like, oh, at some point, the video will be recorded and I don't have to stress so much about like I have to record the video I have to edit the video I have to you know um send emails I have to do this I have to do that like I'm just focused on one task so that has been really really helpful for me working from home with the baby and so speaking of like productivity as a mom one thing that I have noticed for myself is that it has been really important for me to give King undivided attention so when it is time for me to spend time with King I just do that I don't do anything else I don't try to multitask I don't try to like oh you know I'm gonna work and spend time with him like you know there are times that I do you know work and spend uh, like work and hold him at the same time but nine times out of ten when i am spending time with king when i'm doing something with king or for king i am focused completely on him because i find that he's happier like he smiles at me and it's so freaking cute it's like oh it just melts my heart and He's so small, like these are the moments that go by so fast. Like everybody says like, oh, you know, it, it just, it all happens so fast. And so I'm just at a stage right now where I'm like, you know what? The time that I have with him, I just have to spend with him and focus on him because when he's happy, you know, everything falls into place, right? When he's happy, he's fed, he's dry, he's clean, everything, you know, so he'll go down for a nap and then I can do what I need to do and he's happy, you know? And so I just, I think about it as like, you know, if his love tank is full, then he gives mommy the space that she needs to work. And so it's just like, okay, yeah, like there are gonna be times I'm gonna have to kind of, um, you know, maybe sacrifice my, my work or sacrifice a little bit of sleep, you know, to like make sure that he's happy. But especially at this age, I'm just like, you know what it is what it is like as long as he he's happy at some point i will find the time and i will have the time to do the work that i need to do so that's just been something that's helped me a lot is like when i'm with him i'm just with him i'm not trying to work or think about work or do all the other stuff no i just try to focus on him because honestly i tried the whole multitasking thing and it it usually doesn't work out unless it's like a super simple task it usually does not work out for me to try to balance both of them but if i do have to balance both of them I do simple tasks so like when I am breastfeeding that's like a time that I can actually spend you know um, sending emails like I love sending emails while I'm breastfeeding because I mean the most that he's doing is falling asleep honestly on my boob and so I will just send emails maybe I'll watch videos like if I need to learn something I'll do like courses like I use that time that I'm breastfeeding to like do my education stuff um, I'll listen to podcasts like so my other tip and the other thing that I, I, I suggest is there have been plenty of days where I have woken up early or stayed up late. I'm a night owl, so I love staying up late. And so I will stay up late to work. Like, and 
sometimes like some of my best work happens honestly at night i'm not gonna lie my best work happens at night but i mean i'm exhausted <laughs> i am so tired like oh my god like the level of exhaustion that i experience sometimes when i'm trying to like you know get something done or you know do a project and i decide to stay up man like i always later on i'm kicking myself in the butt because i'm just like i should have went to sleep but you know it is what it is but just know yourself and pick your most productive hour because for me my most productive hour like i said was at nighttime so i will like you know stay up a couple of hours later at night and knock out some work and honestly i feel so much better about myself because then during the day granted i wake up a little bit later which is like kind of hard with him but um we can actually like enjoy the day right because my work is done I'm not, I'm not even thinking about work because i know that whatever i had to accomplish is done so for me that's been really helpful especially like leading up towards like a deadline or leading up towards something that i need you know to create or, or need do or whatever it's really helpful like if i do decide to stay up late um waking up early that ain't for your girl but staying up late i can definitely do that so another thing for me is that i maximize king's nap times whenever he goes down for a nap i try to beeline to doing some kind of work now sometimes it ends up being housework like i've kind of he's almost three months now so we kind of are in a little bit of a groove there's no real schedule but there is a little bit of a groove and so i know like his first morning nap ends up being a short nap so i use that time for like my cleaning and stuff and then when he has his long nap which is a little bit later after that he'll have his long nap which is like about three hours boy i will be high to my office to get work done because i know that like, i have to maximize that time and again going back to like the whole one thing that i do i know what my one task is for the day so that is the time that i try to get that one thing done or at least as much of it done as possible like right now this is his three hour stretch of an app so i'm sitting here trying to record a couple of videos that way i know i have content and i'm not having to stress about okay do i need to record a video or when am i going to find time to record a video so man nap times like maximize the mess out of that especially when you kind of figure out what their schedule is because he's not on like a 100 percent schedule like i i don't really put him on a schedule or anything like that i kind of go with the flow but lately i've noticed that he kind of is falling into his own routine and so i'm following suit like okay if, if three hours a day is all i have to work i'm gonna maximize that time and then three hours a day plus maybe one hour at night that's four hours of work i'm not mad at that like it, that's enough time for me to get done what I need to the one thing that I need to get done it's enough time for me to do that so definitely maximize those nap times because man I don't know when this is going to end I don't know if I'm just going through like a sweet phase with him or what but I'm taking full advantage of this whole nap time situation so another thing that I had to realize or another thing that I had to kind of accept is that there are going to be interruptions right I have learned to expect to be interrupted I have learned to expect you know him to wake up from his nap a little bit earlier or you know maybe like the 30 minute nap that I thought he was going to take only ends up being 10 minutes like I've learned to kind of like expect these interruptions and I've, I've heard that it never changes like as he gets older I'll probably get even more interruptions so um you know now I'm just kind of in a in a mindset that I'm like okay I know that at some point he's gonna wake up and it may not be when I thought he was so I just have to do the best that I can right and it can be like a little bit frustrating I'm not gonna lie like I, I get kind of frustrated well I was getting frustrated right now like I said we're going through a smooth phase so I don't know what's going on but I'm, a, I'm gonna embrace it but there was like a time that I was just like man I cannot get anything done and I would be like really down on myself and kind of really like stress about it but the truth of the matter is is that he's a baby like he's a kid you know and so you know he needs me like he needs me and I I getting upset is not going to change that you know and so now I'm just starting to embrace it and you know it actually makes me really happy that um you know when he wakes up he's looking for me like you know he wants to you know he wants to be with me he wants to be around me and so it's just a matter of like okay balancing like what I need to do versus you know balancing him and so uh something else that I found helpful is that Tay and I actually trade off so if you have a partner a spouse um if you have grandparents if you can hire somebody like one day I may have to hire someone both tay and i have to work tay is working from home too right now so tay will work for two hours and i'll watch the baby and then we'll switch and he'll watch the, hour, the baby for two hours and i'll work and so that's been really helpful so when he goes back to work um i'm not sure what we're gonna do we'll probably consider like either um a grandparent coming to help us or uh putting like putting him in daycare and so it's just like you know just to make sure that we're able to get the work that we need to get done because it is kind of challenging to just do it on your own so one thing that i am just like really 
embracing is like okay expect the unexpected but i have help right like i have help and i need to use that help or if i if for whatever reason like in our circle we don't have the help then okay now we need to look into other options like daycare or um a nanny or something like that so that's like where we kind of are with that situation but um if you have someone to help you like don't be afraid to ask for help like that's something that i just got to i just got to that point like it's been three months and i'm just now getting to the point that i'm like okay i have to ask for help right because if i don't nobody knows that i need it and they're not going to offer like people are not going to offer to help you if you don't ask for the help you know because otherwise people think that you're fine so that's something that I've just gotten to now and it's made things a lot easier because now I, I, I have that support that I need to get what I need to get done and I'm finding my voice to say like I'm still a good mom even though I'm asking for help you know like as moms I think so often we feel like we have to do it on our own but that's not true like if you have a partner if you have a spouse if you have family like they're here to help and so ask for it if you need it of course don't abuse it like as far as your family like if you have a partner like that's they're supposed to help you but you know as far as like family and stuff like that you know if you actually need the help ask for it um and so i'm i'm finally in that space now pat myself on the back because that took a minute <laughs> but um but yeah so that's just another tip and something that i've been that i found useful is just actually saying like hey i need these two hours every day so we need to figure out how i can get this two hours so that i can do the work i need to do so another thing that has been working for me very very well is to baby wear um i've been wearing king in a um i have a kia babies um baby uh, baby wrap or baby sling that i've been using for him or i'll put him in the bouncer and i'll just bounce him on the floor next to me both of those work really good if he's awake and i just have to desperately get something done then i will use that um i will either carry him or i will use the bouncer so that i can sit down at the desk and get work done i usually try not to do that though because it's just super challenging to work with with him especially when he's awake um if he's asleep that's a whole different story but when he's awake it's just i don't even know why i try sometimes but i do find that if i just i just there's no other option i and i have to work i'll do that and um usually i'll just like try to rock him or something to kind of get him to calm down enough for me to get done whatever i need to get done and the last thing that like has been just really important for me now with working from home and having king is outlining my process and batch creating like or batch working so what i mean by outlining my process i use um a platform called asana and asana allows me to create basically like lists of what i need to do and so in my business i know that like what kind of content I create I know what kind of launches I have like I know what all is coming up right and so what I do is I write out the system for all that so what does it take for me to write a blog post what does it take for me to write um or to record a podcast to do a video like what all is involved in that and so I write out what the process is then I go through and I batch content together so like I know that you know I might have three videos that need to be recorded well instead of recording one video then editing then you know uploading blah blah I'll record all three at the same time then I'll go through and edit all three at the same time like I batch everything together I have found that by writing out what my process is and then batching all my tasks together man it has made me so much more productive and honestly I feel a lot less stressed like that has been like one of the biggest things that's helped me now I used to batch create things before like before King was born but it wasn't to the level that I'm batching things now and so I think that what's changed is that I've written out my process so now I know when I'm choosing like what my one thing is for the day I know that my one thing purely is like recording or purely is writing or it may just be responding to emails or um you know reaching out to um new uh people to collaborate with or whatever the situation is like i know what exactly i need to do how to batch it all together and it just makes my schedule flow so so much better so that's kind of how my working from home with a baby with a new baby <laughs> has been going um you know it's been definitely a very interesting journey it's been a little bit um it's been a lot challenging i'm not gonna say a little bit it's been a lot challenging but it has been very rewarding because i feel like i finally got to a point that i'm kind of finding a little bit of balance now i do know that like when he starts teething and when he starts going through all these other different milestones it's probably going to get a little bit harder again but as of right now like i feel like we found a sweet spot especially between me 
and um and my husband like or me and tay just being able to kind of balance our schedules right now to make it work and so we'll see how things look in the next couple of months anyway thanks so much for watching this video i hope this was able to help somebody or you know maybe give you like a few tips or just if you wanted to know how i'm balancing things as a new mom and with my business so thanks so much for watching if you like this definitely subscribe like leave me a comment and until next time i'll talk to y'all later